It was the year 2016 when Elon Musk founded The Boring Company, which is basically an American infrastructure and tunneling construction services company. The main goal of this company is to transport people through underground tunnels. It has already completed two tunnels in Las Vegas for loop travel. Moreover, the company has also completed one tunnel for testing Hyperloop as well as loop travel in LA County. If you want to know more about The Boring Company, watch this video till the end. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you about what exactly is happening to The Boring Company. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to Technology Fit and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. So without further ado, let's get into this. First of all, let me tell you that this company started as a subsidiary of SpaceX and later became a separate independent company back in 2018. Now the entire story goes back to a tweet posted by Elon Musk. In December 2016, Tesla CEO tweeted, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. At the time, it was just a normal tweet in which a person expressed his frustration over traffic. Well, that person wasn't a normal person. He was Elon Musk, who has been working to solve the problems of our world. He first started PayPal to improve the payment system. Then he started Tesla Motors to provide electric cars. On the other hand, his company SpaceX is working to improve space travel. Now Elon Musk announced on the same day that he is starting the boring company by tweeting, I am actually going to do this. He went on to register the company and also bought a boring machine that was 400 feet long. The company immediately started boring company on SpaceX's premises back in February 2017. Well, his company hasn't stopped boring since then and the result we have is the open trial of a tunnel in Las Vegas. Here, it is important to note that the company started engaging in various marketing promotions back in 2018. It offered a number of promotional merchandise to customers which includes hats and fire extinguishers. Now let me tell you that this company either has active construction or is planning future projects in the Baltimore, Washington area, Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Moreover, the government in Chicago has selected the Boring Company to construct a downtown to airport loop for high speed transport. The company did impressive progress in 2019. Let me tell you that Elon Musk announced that CERN's director had asked him about the construction of the tunnels for its 100km circumference future circular collider. Well, the boring company could help CERN save billions of euros. Moreover, an Australian MP asked Musk about a tunnel through the Blue Mountains to the west of Sydney. Musk suggested that it would cost $24 million per mile. In simple words, it would cost $750 million for the tunnel that would be 50 kilometers long. In February of this year, Francis Suarez, Miami mayor, revealed that Tesla CEO had proposed to dig two miles long tunnel under the Miami River. Suarez said that $30 million will be spent on this project and it will take around six months to complete this tunnel. On June 9 of this year, CNET published a report saying 40 feet below the searing hot streets of Las Vegas, Elon Musk's boring company wants to reinvent tunnels. The boring company opened its first underground loop beneath Las Vegas Convention Center. The loop covers 1.7 miles and consists of three passenger stations. The entire tunnel is lit with color changing LED lights. Moreover, there is a fleet of 62 Teslas that circles around inside the loop. This is the first completely operational loop created by the Boring Company. Here, it is worth noting that the company unveiled its first tunnel back in 2018, however, that wasn't fully operational. By this point, you have understood that the Boring Company basically aims to solve the traffic problems by going underground. They want to build tunnels. Well, that sounds similar to underground trains, right? However, Musk's concept is different. He wants this entire concept to be entirely autonomous. Moreover, he wants it to be extra fast. In fact, he wants to transport people at a speed of 150 miles per hour. Let me tell you that the biggest criticism is safety. People as well as authorities are concerned about safety issues. Think about it. The Boring Company wants to put people several feet below the ground and move them at speeds of 150 miles per hour. Fire is one of the biggest hazards. You might also want to note that the Boring Company's proposal states that there will be fire detection, emergency exits, and safety measures. However, these proposed emergency exits are placed 10,500 feet apart. And most importantly, are these underground tunnels actually needed? Well, we already have something for that. And we call it a subway. Think about it, the subway can even ferry a lot more people than Elon's company system can. 
According to the National Association of Transportation Officials, the Boring Company's loop in Las Vegas can transport up to 4,400 passengers per hour. A bus lane can move 8,000 people per hour and a subway line up to 100,000 people. What do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Moving forward, the company plans to expand the convention center system to other Las Vegas landmarks. The Boring Company will use this system as a case study to build tunnels in other cities as well as Fort Lauderdale and Austin. Most of the projects of the company have been stiff-armed by regulations as well as angry local residents. Let me tell you that plans for a loop connecting DC and Baltimore as well as Chicago Express Loop that would connect downtown Chicago and O'Hare Airport both sputtered. In April of this year, it was reported that the Boring Company has removed DC to Baltimore Tunnel from its list of projects on its official website. A Federal Highway Administration spokesperson revealed that the Boring Company had given no indication that it intends to move ahead with the project. In the end, let me tell you that Musk says that the company's goal is to improve the tunneling speed enough so that establishing a tunnel network is financially feasible. He said, if you think of tunnels going 10, 20, 30 layers deep, it is obvious that going 3D will encompass the needs of any city's transport of arbitrary size. You might also want to note that the company has said that future operations will implement a contemporaneous operation of boring and tunnel reinforcement. It will help the company reduce the cost of the tunneling operations while also reducing the size of the tunnel. According to a board member of SpaceX and Tesla Inc., Steve Jurvetson, the insight I think that's so powerful is that if you only envision electric vehicles in your tunnels, you don't need to do the air handling for all carbon monoxide carbon dioxide, you know, basically pollutants in the exhaust. You could have scrubbers and a variety of simpler things that make everything collapse to a similar tunnel size, which dramatically lowers the cost. The whole concept of what you do with tunnels changes. Don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comments section below. That's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, make sure you share it with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it and press that notification bell so you receive a notification each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. Thanks for watching this video.